Hi, Jilly, another lovely viewers as well. All right, it's time for the tough talk. I may have over exaggerated the toughness of this talk, but today I want to talk about trilogies versus series, and I want to know am I wrong? Or is that third book in the trilogy? Guapo said it best. Maybe just a little rough. I'd like to see you train your dog to help you out with puns. Okay, so try not to get too worked up about this if I hurt your feelings about maybe your favorite trilogy, but I think for one, probably the idea of a trilogy at this point in especially maybe young adult fiction is kind of a gimmick. They're kind of trying to, you know, they just want you to keep you fall for the series. I fall for the series. I understand. I'm in it. That's why I want to talk about it today. Basically, my argument is this. If it's just a trilogy, the third book gets really rough. And then you're like, why trilogy? Why? But if it's a whole series, like, of, of many books that don't just end at number three, it, I feel like the wind down works out and the last book is fine. Why? Starting with Mockingjay, which I personally still liked Mockingjay. I was not feeling the animosity towards it that some people did, but I know a lot of people were already being like, why did this happen with Mockingjay and this wasn't like the rest of the Hunger Games series. Um, but then I started to notice it more recently. It's like, okay, let's just say it, Allegiant. I admit I was late to that Divergent game, like, I probably only had to wait a week for Allegiant to come out once I had read the first two, um, and I really liked the first two, and one of my favorite parts was that it really just read as one whole book, like, even though the other one ended, the next one picked up, like, right after, and it just felt like it could have been one whole book if they didn't just choose to split it into three books. But when that third one started, and I won't, you know, give away anything, but um, I'm sure everyone has heard at this point that the format changed um, as far as, like, perspectives of characters they were hearing, and um, I really didn't think the voices of the characters were different enough to really justify this, and it, it really put me off that third book. Then, um, I just finished the Shatter Me series um, by Tata Muffy, and I think I said that right, and um, like I really was into the first two, I was like, oh, I love her little writing style, and I like how she does the internal dialogue of this main character girl, and I like that the girl is growing and, and changing, um, but I got a little worried, because I could tell some things were happening with one character, and I was like, really? You want to go that far with that character? And then when they got to the third book, which just came out, I personally felt like there was a big switch over right at the beginning of the third book. Like, probably read two chapters of it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, where I was like, wow, it feels like you just turned that around so that you could make this the last book. And it didn't seem to me like there was enough transition time for that to naturally have happened to those characters. And that's what I think the curse of the trilogy is. I feel like maybe with the trilogy, when they start out, they gotta keep the momentum going and keep the momentum going through the second one, but then they know they have to stop with the third one, so it's just like, eh, breaks, okay, change everything, we've gotta stop this. Whereas, like, if it's a whole series, um, then there's a little more wind down time maybe in the last few books. I, I don't know what it is, but I mean, Prisoner of Azkaban, lovely, third book in a longer series. Um, my Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland, that whole series that I've been talking about, the third one has been my favorite so far, um, and it's going to keep going. And someone needs to tell me about Miss Peregrine's. Is that going to stop after the next one, or is that a longer series? Because <gasps> if it's a trilogy, now I'm kind of scared. And then I got the third in the uh, Legend series, this champion, and now I'm like, it sits on my shelf, and I don't want to start it because I'm like, I was liking that trilogy, and now I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. I feel, <laughs> I'm really sorry. I feel like this is like the meanest video I've ever put up, but I just really wanted to know your opinion. Like, is it just me that thinks maybe these third books seem a little awkward um, from really good writers and like still read these series because these are really good books, but I just. I just want to know, is it just me, or is it the trilogy? So sorry for the tough talk, guys. I hope you can handle it, and I hope you're not mad. If it's your favorite series and you really like the third one, argue your case. You can change my mind, maybe, and uh, Jilly and other lovely viewers as well. I will talk to you later. Bye.